Hey guys, I'm Chilo with Sub-07. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we entered Mount Moon after properly destroying Brock in the episode beforehand, and we collectively shit our pants as we encountered a shiny Pokemon. Somehow. I'm s I don't know how that worked, but I'll take it. In this episode, we were supposed to be dealing with this scientist dude, but first, let's give a little bit of healing. We're gonna need it. I'll just casually chug it. Physical potions. Seems like a stupid idea, but that's what you guys do, I guess. Now, something I realized in between episodes is that actually there is a moonstone around the caves of Mount Moon itself, down on the basement floor that we're in right now. If you search for it, it's currently an invisible item, but if you find it, it's an easy way to evolve your Clefairy or Jigglypuff. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. Well, uh, can't really go anywhere outside outside of just straight ahead, so sorry, bud. Gotta, get, gotta go touch those fossils. Super Nerd Miguel was a Grimer. I don't think we've seen a Grimer up to this point. They're just mostly pure poison type physical attackers. They're pretty... Or physical walls. They're pretty good. Or not physical. They're special walls, actually, now that I think about it. Luckily, we have a Spearow, so no, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Yes, yes, raise your defense. Like, that'll help you much. Because you're dead. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use Voltorb. Uh oh. Let's switch back to Emperor. I don't want to deal with any chances from you. Voltorb, of course, electric is good against flying, so we're not taking any risks. Slap it with some grass. I'm gonna use Charge. That increases the power of the next electric attack he does and also ups his special defense. But should be too big of a deal. Yep. Disposed of. And last but not least, he has a coughing. Pretty much the inverse of Grimer. Same with being a wall, only instead of special, it's physical. Um, what do I do here? I guess keep Spiro out? Let's, let's have them in for, for the fray. Because Ivysaur is technically weak against poison. Or not weak, but... Grass isn't good against poison, so, um, use some layer to weaken it. This can help a bit. Oh, you asshole! Poison gas it is purely a move that causes poison. It's kind of low accuracy, but of course it hits because it's the computers. <sighs> I hate this. Well, I suppose this isn't all bad, I guess. Yep, using smog, which I expected. Ugh, low on health. Let's switch back to Ivysaur. Since we're technically part poison type, we can't be poisoned in this generation, which is kind of nice. Just going for tackle, that's fine. We won't do much damage at all. Uh, we can tackle right back, actually. And since we used Leer twice, these defenses are much lower. That to carry you. So much for you being a super nerd. Level up! 19! Nice. Good defense. We defeated Miguel. Okay, I'll share. I mean, I didn't want one of your fossils, but if you insist. At least take a fossil. I'll be greedy. Now, we can't really use these right now, but anyone who knows Pokemon knows that it's a tradition to have fossil Pokemon. We have a choice of the Helix fossil or the Dome fossil. I'll take the Dome fossil. Helix religion sucks! Alright, then this fossil is mine. Far away on Cinnabar Island, there's a Pokemon lab. They do research on regenerating fossils. That's good to know. Maybe we'll get there someday. Alright, oh, fuck. So, since Spiro is poisoned, they're gonna slowly take damage if, as we walk. But since I... Do we have an antidote? Oh, yeah, we do. Since we have an antidote, we can thankfully heal, heal her up and get, get her safe. If we just let the poison keep going, it would have eventually killed her. Uh, I'm gonna put Ivysaur in front, or Emperor in front, sorry. But yeah, those fossils can become one of two different Pokemon. If you pick the Dome Fossil, you get Kabuto, which becomes Kabutops, who is pretty good at physical attacks and is kind of fast. And if you pick the Helix Fossil, you get Ammonite, which becomes Amastar, which is more physically defensive and is a big special attacker, but a lot slower. Uh, I like the fossil Pokemon, but they're kind of hard to use in this generation, because you get them really late in the game when you can actually use them, and they come in at level 5, so you're going to be doing a lot of grinding to get them up to a certain point. But, go through this. And we're out! Finally made it out of Mount Moon. 
Now, Route 4. We technically were at the start of Route 4 before, but now we're just over here. And we walk up to these guys. They're having a bit of an argument. A punch of roaring ferocity! Packed with destructive power! When the chips are down, Mega Punch is the ultimate attack. You agree, yes? Now, let me teach you to your Pokémon. Uh, I don't have anything that can learn this, actually. You'll be back when you understand the worth of Mega Punch. A kick of brutal ferocity! Packed with destructive power! When you get right down to it, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Don't you agree? Okay, I'll teach you to your Pokémon. You'll come back growling when you realize the value of Mega Kick. Yeah, these two both will teach you one move, Mega Kick or Mega Punch. They're both surprisingly normal attacks, not fighting, which is very weird. But if you manage to pick up a Mankey for your journey, it's a pretty good option to give to them. It's a pretty high power move, I think around 85 power or so. It's pretty useful. Now, what do we got here? TMO5, Roar. That is a, not stat, that's kind of a status move where if you use it and you, and the Roar hits the Pokemon, it either switches them out for someone else in the opponent's party or it makes them flee the battle if it's a wild Pokemon. And of course, we got some grass. Um, I believe we've actually encountered all the Pokemon that we can find in this place. Sandshrew and Ekans are the two unique ones that you can get depending on the version. In my case, Sandshrew. If I was playing Fire Red, we'd be running into Ekans, but... Eh, I don't really need either of them for this journey. Just gonna dispose of you. And continue on a merry little way. As we finally make it to our next destination... Cerulean City. Home of the bike shop. I want a bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it won't get dirty. Then why'd you get a bicycle? Bicycles get dirty. Plain city bike is good enough for me. After all, you can't put a good put a shopping basket on a mountain bike. Uh, you can. You just look stupid. I, I technically have a mountain bike at home, actually. I haven't used it too much, but I probably should. I used to do a bit of mountain biking. It was fun. These bikes are expensive, but, but they're pretty cool. Oops. <laughs> he meant cool, but way expensive. Hi, right, welcome to our bike shop. We got just a bike for you. Oh, no. Yeah, you're not buying that bike anytime soon, so don't bother. Just just walk away. Bikes would be a faster form of travel, but there's ain't no way in hell we're getting that for that kind of a price. Make an encyclopedia on Pokemon? That sounds amusing. Does it? I've never thought of encyclopedias on Pokemon as amusing. If that Slowbro wasn't there, you could cut down the small tree. That way you could get to the other side. I think there's a way around it, though. What are you talking about? Oh, there you are. Slowbro, withdraw! Oh? No, that's wrong! It's so hard to control Pokemon! Your Pokemon's obedience depends on your abilities as a trainer. Kind of what she's talking about is the thing with the badges in this game. The more badges you have, the higher level uh, Pokemon will obey you. But you need certain badges in order for that to actually work. And it only counts specifically for stuff you get through trades. But for now, let's head to the Pokemon Center. We could use a heal. Yes, please give me a heal. I could use it. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you again. Well, probably not. Now, you may have also noticed, there's a gym right here. This is... Misty's Gym. If you've ever seen the anime, you know exactly who this is. It's the eternal tomboy character, the tomboyish mermaid. You're a trainer, too? Collecting, battling, it's a tough life, isn't it? Not really, especially since I'm not collecting that much. But yeah, we could choose to go fight Cerulean right now. I'm not really feeling up to it because... One, there's some other stuff we can do around Cerulean first, and two, I don't particularly want to. Hello there, do you happen to have a Poliwhirl? Would you we agree to a change for my Jinx? Um, I can't do that, because we don't we haven't encountered a Poliwhirl. That actually would be a pretty good trade, though, if a bit weird, given that you're giving us a kind of hard-to-find Pokemon. Jinx, those are kind of rare Pokemon in this game, and that you can only get it through a trade. Jinx is actually a pretty good special attacker. It's Ice Psychic. And, honestly, it's not a bad pick if you want to go for the trade. I've never done it and used the Jinx before, but hey, you could do worse. I see you have at least one. Those badges of amazing secret, did you know? Now then, which of the eight badges should I describe? Oh yeah, this guy. He talks to you about each of the eight badges and gives you a description on what they can do. For the Boulder Badge, attacks it while your Pokemon increases a little bit. Also lets you the move Flash outside of battle, which we haven't gotten yet, so that's kind of useless for us. I think if we go back here, is there anything? There might be a hidden item over here. Yep! Ooh, rare candy. Nice. Rare candies, of course, increase your Pokemon's level by one. We've already seen one of those, but more rare candies, the better. What do you got to say? Anything? Anything, old man? I concoct a variety of medicine from berry powder. Using good berry powder, I can make any kind of medicine. Now tell me, have any interest in berries? Uh, sure. Why must you lie to me? How many berries do you have? Not a one. I mean... 
That doesn't mean I don't have interest. It might just mean I don't have any berries. <laughs> so, berries are technically a thing you can't really get in this game specifically. They were introduced in the other Generation 3 games, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Fire Red Leaf Green doesn't have berries by default. You gotta find them, I believe, either as hidden items on the ground or by trading. And when you get them, he'll actually give you a berry powder bag to hold on to it. It's kind of weird that they don't just flat out give it to you, but whatever. Ugh, too much time, too little to do. Is nothing entertaining happening anywhere? I mean, life's entertaining, dude. Just gotta fucking look around. But let's head to the Mart. I think there's some new stuff we can get, actually, in here. What do we got? Yeah, super potions! These are a bit more expensive than regular potions, but they heal 50 HP versus 20. So I highly recommend getting at least a couple of these. Thank you, finally. Please come again. Thank you, come again. And of course, uh, there is technically something we can do real fast, so uh, might as well bite the bullet on this. Uh, yeah, Spiro up front. Still haven't seen any good names for uh, Spiro yet because, well, at the time of recording this, we haven't actually uploaded the first part. But, hey, hopefully we'll think of something cool to come up with for our Spiro's nickname. But, uh... First things first, make sure... Actually, no, let's not do that, just in case the recording fails. Uh, head up this way. And once you know it, it's that asshole again. Yo, Kyle! You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great! I got a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me show you what I caught. And also see what you caught. And yes, it's rival battle time once again. Only this time, he's rocking four Pokemon. We only have two and a half, really. He's already evolved his Pidgeotto, or Pidge, Pidgey into a Pidge, into P Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto is, is, is alright, but Spearow still hits harder. Oh, he does know Gust now, so he does know a proper flying move. That's why I didn't put Emperor out first. Keep pecking. Ugh. This is why I brought potions. Just in case, I needed them. I was a bit afraid of this. Usually when Pokemon evolve, they are significantly stronger. Ow! Jeez. Why won't you just die? Am I going to have to use all the super potions in one fight? I hope not. <laughs> I suppose if I wanted to, I could just throw out Clicker to sack him and get me a, get me a turn to just heal. But I'm not going to do that. Back again. Ah, so close. You're probably going to try and kill me through Quick Attack! I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Just wanted to be clear. I don't like this at all. Yes, yes, another Quick Attack. But that should be enough for me to survive and finish you this time. There you go. See, I wouldn't normally have done that, but... Eh. Plus level up for Spiro. Spiro is actually pretty close to evolving. She evolves to level 20, so I'm excited for that. Ah, uh, the Rattata again? Okay. Let's peck you again. Quick attack. Ah, fuck. Well, I was afraid of that. Now I gotta do this raw. Fine whip. Yes, yes, you're gonna tail whip me. That's not gonna do much. That'll lower my defense, but I don't think it's gonna be much of a problem. And is it time? Oh, no, it's not! Right, he doesn't evolve it at this point in time. That's weird that he doesn't actually do that. Okay. This is gonna be kind of weird but and kind of dicey, but we're gonna try this. Sends out Charmander, who is level 18. He should have evolved by now, but I guess for some reason Gary decided, eh, I don't feel like it. But we're also faster, so we get Sleep Powder off. Yes. Put him to sleep. Uh, I was worried he would get a chance to go, because obviously he's got fire attacks now, so he would have actually hurt. Get the Leech Seed off. And now we can slowly work on chipping him down. Thankfully, we do have a non-grass attack we can use. Doesn't do much from Leech Seed, but it's something. Tackle. That's a bit. I can live with that. Alright. More, more health sapped. I think just one more good hit will actually finish him. Oh, wow. He's not even going to wake up from this. Come on. Finish him off. 
The tackle. Nice! I was worried about this fight, honestly, going in, since we only had two Pokemon and he had four, but... All things considered, that went pretty well. And he's got one Pokemon left. Abra. This would have seemed like a problem, but Abra only learns one move, which is teleport. So it's completely useless in this fight. This would be much more of an issue if he'd actually bothered to evolve it, because it does evolve at level 16. Abra being the one of the best original Pokemon from Gen 1, when it became Alakazam at least, because high special attack, psychic type, just a pain. But Abra, super weak, super useless, and super dead. And that takes care of you. Hey, take it easy. You won already. Yeah, I won with half the Pokemon that you did, sucker. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That had a lot of pages in my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC too. Since using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. And he's gone. Oh. Oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really, you're always plodding behind me. Yeah, I lost three times to you so far, but I'm clearly the superior fighter. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. All oh, right, the fame checker. This is kind of useless to us, but it's something. A shady gossip like you, that thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. All right, this time I really am gone. Smell ya. Yeah, fame checker's kind of a worthless item in this game. It's really situational. Let's see if we can pull it off real fast. Also, dome fossils right here. Fame checker, device that enables you to recall what you've heard and seen about famous people. This will also discuss like super important characters like the gym leaders and just other people in the game. They're not really worth pulling up. I don't recommend having this on hand. Let's uh, head back and heal. All right, now that everyone's finally back up and healed, that's nice. Let's check up one. Yep, 18, 19. We are real close actually to being the levels I want. I'd say I want both Spiro and Emperor to be level 20 or so before we tackle the gym. Because that's the highest level of Misty's Pokemon. And of course, over here, we have what's known as the Nugget Bridge and Route 24. We got a bunch of new encounters we'd actually deal with around here. But I think we're actually going to save this until next time. Since we took on a rival, we got out of Mount Moon, and we finally made it to Cerulean City, the next big stop on our adventure. So next time on Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green, we'll be clearing out the Nugget Bridge, checking out Bill's house, and possibly taking out Misty. Until next time, ice out.